Hi there, this is uh, Shrikant Dasari. So, in this uh, lesson, or uh, to be more uh, specific, in this series, uh, we are going to focus on uh, uh, various uh, uh, C programs uh, which were very essential uh, when uh, a student is uh, learning, uh, especially for uh, a lab purpose. Okay. So, first, uh, uh, so we are going to uh, deal with a series of programs uh, which were very essential. Uh, uh, when you are when you are not uh, apart from learning uh, theoretical concepts in C programming language, uh, we need to focus on how uh, to uh, how to uh, make acquainted ourselves with uh, uh, lab programming. Okay. So, so first let me launch the idea. Uh, so we are using a Visual Studio 2013 Express Edition for uh, Windows Desktop, uh, which is a very uh, a uh, good idea for uh, uh, programming in C, C++, not only C, C++, but also you can use it for uh, C Sharp and Visual Basic and so on and so forth. So primarily uh, our main focus is going to be on uh, C programming uh, lab purpose in this series at least. Okay. So in this very first uh, introductory uh, lesson, uh, so uh, here I already have created a project under the name uh, Simple Random and it consists nothing but uh, uh, Simple Random dot C file. Okay. So let me go to full screen. Uh, so here uh, in this program, we are going to learn uh, how to make use of uh, a random function, which is a predefined function under the header file mat.h. Uh, using that, it's to uh, to make it very simple. Uh, in this very first uh, uh, tutorial, uh, just we are going to uh, learn how to use that random function in our program. Okay. So first, let me do the uh, basic stuff like uh, adding the header files. Okay. So hash include stdo.h So hash include conio.h Okay So void main Okay So uh, we have just did all the basic stuff and also I am just adding the get ch to make the output constant here Okay So uh, now <coughs> Excuse me So it may run until this instance uh, you just get nothing but uh, the console window run the program so in order to run the program you need to press f5 uh, or uh, control f5 okay so f5 or control f5 or uh, simply you can uh, make use of this uh, run button uh, if you go uh, if you get uh, come out of the full screen mode and you can just press the screen here okay so whatever you want you can uh, use that option here okay so i think uh, control f5 also works here okay so uh, let's make the screen a bit bigger uh, like this like, let me increase the font size here console and the 36 here okay looks bigger and the font size also looks bigger here okay so now uh, first let me take a variable uh, let's say just int n uh, also uh, before two, we have uh, said that uh, the ran function uh, which you are going to use to generate the random number is defined under this header file math.h uh, okay so that's the reason i have uh, added this header file here uh, which is uh, math.h okay and then uh, now uh, using this variable uh, i am going to use this rand function here okay so just if you call the function uh, rand which is a, a replica for random number uh, in c rand function which is defined under this header file uh, math.h here okay so uh, now if we make use of this random function if we create a uh, generate a random number and it just stores in this uh, variable n and if uh, by using this uh, printf statement okay slash slash t the random number let's have a message here let's say the random number generated is equal to percentage d right comma n followed by semicolon here okay so now uh, let's have a comment here a random function let's say predefined function predefined function use it to generate random <coughs> excuse me random number here okay so now if you run the program uh, by pressing f5 since we are in full screen mode uh, you get the, this random number generated which is 45 okay so you can think uh, uh, the random number is some kind of uh, number which is picked up uh, or else it can be any integer 
it can be any kind of integer here okay so this is a very uh, small and uh, decent program just to know how to use the rand function to generate a random number okay so see you in the next lesson goodbye